Hi, my name is Kara Martin, and this is my second brand video, which I set to mimic my outline a little bit better because I didn't feel like my first brand video appropriately mimicked um, what public speaking really is. It was more of a skit video, and it is available on my YouTube channel. Um, I'm using an outline as I go through this because I'm not very social media savvy for myself. I use it only for looking through and maybe posting pictures of my family. So I didn't feel like it would be extremely indicative of who I am to try and memorize a script or just off the top of my head start giving you all information about me. So I have my outline here and you will see it in my video. Um, to be honest, I had to watch most of your videos and kind of look online to see what a personal brand is. <clears throat> but it seems like it's something that's utilized by a lot of um, people who are technolo technologically advanced and who use social media for business purposes and fun purposes. And it was a really common thing. I didn't have a hard time finding it at all. It's something that I think I would have considered a mission statement when I was in high school uh, about myself that I may have written up. Um, I jotted down some words that I feel describe me very, um, just minimally. And those words are mom, anxious, forgetful, messily organized, wife, procrastinator, and extroverted. Uh, when I took all of those words and chose from just one, I would have to say that mom is the biggest, um, description of who I am because Every single one of those words put together uh, make up the biggest characteristic, I think, of my personality, and that really is being a mom to all of my kids, to um, extending that to taking care of my family, the whole reason I go to school, the whole reason I try and take care of my home, the whole reason I work is for the needs of my kids to help keep them safe, to help keep them happy, to help keep them going. Also. My mom and my grandmother are very huge influences in my life, and I've always seen motherhood as something that I knew would just automatically be a part of my life. Um, secondly, um, <clears throat> if I'm just describing to you what I feel describes me, again, it would go in that order. Mom, wife, daughter, granddaughter, friend, and then scientist. But all of those things are really linked together. I am 100% a mom. I am 100% a wife, a daughter, and a granddaughter. These are all important roles in my life. These are all roles that when uh, people look at me every day, people that know me every day look at me, they, they already know, oh, that's so-and-so's granddaughter. Oh, that's so-and-so's daughter. Oh, aren't you Kara's mom? Oh, how are your kids doing? Oh, is your husband here? Is your husband there? What is your husband up to? What are you guys doing? There's never a miss in the conversation about those things when it comes to me personally. <clears throat> Usually those things are taking place at work. Um, I've worked for the same company for the past 12 years. Um, I went back to school about six years ago to get my MLS degree. I work in a laboratory in a hospital and I, I convene at work. My friends are at work. My work family knows my home family and vice versa. I've always been that way. Even in my past career field, my work family was my home family. So I have always, always mended, mended my lives together. I've always found a way to bring things together. I don't do very well at separating personal life from, say, <clears throat> professional life. And that is a huge trait of mine. Sometimes it's really good, and sometimes it's very difficult. I feel that it plays into a couple of the earlier descriptions of myself that I gave you. Anxious and messily organized, because there are times when I've needed to be able to separate my professional and personal life and I haven't been able to and it makes me very anxious and there have also been times when um, I've needed to bring those things together and 
it causes a chaotic mess in my life. And it's happened enough times in the past, I would say, decade that it's worth mentioning because my work is such a big part of my of my personality. I do a lot of um, research for work. I do a lot of <clears throat> um, personal projects for work. And again, I am just friends with everyone that I work with. Uh, and I do a lot of community work for the, I'm sorry, for the facility I work for. So again, my work is such a huge indicator of who I am. Okay, this being my personality, it affects my home life. My person, my personality, all of these things affect my home life. They affect my husband and they affect my kids in a lot of ways. Some of you may or may not have your own families and you may or may not realize this, but um, one, one thing that I found out over the past 17 years is that who I am and who my husband are are different, but you... Find a very, I found a very good balance between the two of us is essential for maintaining a marriage. We've been married for 17 years. We met when we were 15 years old. That's also a huge um, indicator of, I would say, my personal brand because people who meet me know that about me. They know that I've been married for a long time. They know that I met my husband at Lagoon Amusement Park. They know we worked there together when we were young, and they know we've been married since then. And that's very important to me if I were branding myself to say, hey, I've been married to my husband for this long. That means something to me, especially in this day and age and especially having our own kids. Um, I am still in school because I want to be able to um, improve my education so that I can increase my, I guess you could say, potential to go out and lead, potential to go out and teach. I love to teach, I love to train, I love to help people understand better, um, and increasing my knowledge and increasing my degree will legally allow me to do that. So I'm working on my bachelor's degree at the moment. I also feel that it's important to um, teach through example, and I'm, my husband and I both expect our children to go on and build meaningful lives, whether it's through education, whether it's through a trade school, whether it's through continuing somehow. And we, I don't feel like I can expect that from them if I didn't, if I haven't done it myself. And I try to preach that as often as I can to a lot of young people that I meet so that when they leave or go somewhere after knowing me, they remember hearing that and that they remember it came from me. That's very, very important to me. So those are my main traits, my main personalities, the core of who I am, and I hope that helps give you a general understanding of what I'm about and what's really important to me in my life.